First is the grid tied system, also known as on grid. The grid supplies electricity from your electric company to your home as 110 volt AC power. To get solar power into your grid connected home, you would need solar panels installed on the roof of your home and utilize a grid tie inverter. A grid tie inverter takes the DC current, which your solar panel generates, and converts it to AC current, which can be used in your home. This is one of the cheapest and most efficient ways to power your home with solar. The other option uses a system called the Maximum Power Point Tracking, also known as MPPT. This system uses more elements than the system seen before. First, the solar panels convert sunlight into DC power. That power goes through a charge controller to then charge a bank of batteries. Those batteries feed an inverter which turns the DC power to AC power or alternating current to power your home. However, Every time power goes through a device, there are losses. Some power is lost as it goes from the solar panels to a charge control. Then it goes to a battery which has resistance. Therefore, more losses. More losses again as it comes out of the battery and through another inverter and finally to your house. There are losses in every step before the power reaches your house, making the system less efficient. For the most part, if you don't need batteries, it's best not to use them as they are not cheap and last from 3 to 5 years unless you buy an expensive set of batteries which can last 15 to 20 years. You would want batteries in places where you may get many power outages if the grid fails and as a backup or for cloudy days. The best option is to have a big bank of solar panels and a grid tied inverter so that any excess power can be fed back to the grid for credit to use when needed. The solar panels have to be well connected so that if any of them is shaded or not pointed correctly to the sun, it can draw out the power for the whole system. But if you use a microinverter in each solar panel, if you have a problem or failure with one solar panel, the rest of the array can function correctly.